What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Oh, it is your boy Kiss, man. Shout out to Street Certified News. Yo, it's your boy El Hitter, Mr. Oh, yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. You already know the vibes. We actually in the building. Street Certified. Street outside the gym. Jerome King Shorty Freeman was born in November 1951. He allegedly became a gang member in the 1960s and was a close associate of the Black Gangster Disciple Nation founder, David King David Barksdale. In 1965, Jerome Freeman and another member of the BGDs, Larry Hoover, were good friends. This made their respective sets the Supreme Gangsters and the Black King Cobra's allies. Later in that year, some say Freeman found out Larry was fucking with his girl behind his back. Hoover ended up in a long-term relationship with the woman, but Freeman, upset with how it made him look, started a war with the gangsters over it. The GDs, BGs, and BDs all became separate gang entities through this splintering of the Black Gangster Disciples. When King David died in 1974, the organization was taken over by Jerome King Shorty Freeman as Crown King. When David Barksdale died, Freeman used that as a chance to take about a third of the BGDs for himself and declare war on Larry Hoover and the remaining two thirds of the BGDs. This culminated in a bloody gang civil war from 1974 through 1976. In 1976, Freeman's BGDs became the black disciples that we know today. They called him King Shorty, reputed leader of the black disciple street gang. At just over five feet tall, the moniker fit well. Black Disciples criminal organization stretched across the south side and into the south suburbs of Chicago. Shorty Freeman allegedly led the gang's drug and gang trade. He was suspected, but never convicted of ordering dozens of murders, authorities have claimed. Drug sales were Freeman's main source of cash. He dealt up to 50 kilograms of cocaine a month and received most of the drugs on consignment because as some of the plugs would say, he was always good for it. Freeman was a smooth character who often wore platform shoes, blue jogging suits, gold chains around his neck, and a Rolex watch on his wrist. And he preferred to drive the latest model Cadillac. But being king was not always easy. Shorty Freeman spent most of his adult life in prison. In 1977, Jerome Freeman was sentenced to 10 years for an armed robbery. And in 1985, Freeman was locked up, only to be later acquitted on federal weapons charges, stemming from a raid of his home at 114th and Vincennes that turned up a sawed-off shotgun. In 1989, Freeman was sentenced to 28 years on drug charges. Being locked up did not deter Shorty Freeman, however. He allegedly continued to give gang orders from inside his maximum security prison cell. Inside, he was followed around by a gang of bodyguards, and he held gang meetings inside the prison chapel. As a gang leader, Freeman was linked to numerous murders. In one instance in 1984, a week after he was released from prison on that robbery charge, he was charged with the killing of a former aide in the 6200 block of South Kenbark Avenue. Chicago police claimed two witnesses identified Freeman and an associate Jefferson White Cloud Baptiste as the killers. The witnesses later changed their story and a year later, Baptiste was gunned down, shot in the back of the head while waiting in a car in Harvey. That case was never solved. In 2001, Mr. Freeman told law enforcement that he had retired from the gang life and was eventually released on parole in March 2005. Mr. Freeman later in his life helped ceasefire organize several gang summits, promoting peace in Inglewood, and was said to have been involved in more than 30 conflict resolution interventions. Jerome King Shorty Freeman died of natural causes at Ingalls Hospital in Harvey, Illinois on January 6, 2012.
he was 60 years old. Some people doubt King Shorty ever truly relinquished his black disciples crown. But Chicago anti-violence activist T.O. Hardiman, head of Ceasefire Illinois, has stated in interviews that Mr. Freeman, after prison, became a peace advocate, especially in the Inglewood neighborhood for which decades was the center of his criminal operation. Shorty Freeman's life went full circle, Hardiman said. At the end, he became an absolute peacemaker. This is the story of the real king of the BDs. Jerome King Shorty Freeman, gangster from Chicago. It's your boy MXL Guapo, Street Certified News. We out. <laughs>